right, look at this. She was a sunny morning, but it's getting a little dark here. What's up, guys? How's it going, Mark Froom 408? How are you? New day. We had awesome Canada Day weekend and still no rain. What's up? How are you? Well, good. Are you? It's great temperature today. I know. It's been I know. a great weekend, too. I don't know why you're wearing pants, so. I should probably wear shorts. It's a little cooler, right? That. Oh, well. Um, I just noticed this. The thing under my truck fell off for like the 80th time. It's just kind of hanging there. I don't know if you guys can see it. <laughs> I was leaving the post office and yeah, it's broken again. Typical. They need to fix it. Make it, uh, make it stronger. But, uh, these, uh, general tires have been working well, so I can't complain about that. Anyways, we got some, um, some parcels, some toys. Yeah, there's something that comes here just about every day, Mark. <laughs> Keeps you excited because you're always... gonna have to start charging for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just give you some of them. Well, that? I'll go with that. Okay. Anyways, uh, Dewalt has been super nice to us. They sent us a pole hedge trimmer because we have many hedges, many hedges, and they need to be trimmed. We got the weed whacker, so they call it a string trimmer. I call it the weed whacker, and then we have this freshy job site. Electric cold washer, cold water pressure washer. So can't wait to test that one out. I took this one to Arkansas. It works absolutely amazing. We have many, many DeWalt things here. That's for sure. So the place is turning yellow. <laughs> Better than green. Anyways, I picked up that code reader. So hopefully we can erase the codes from the BMW and get it started today. What are, you, what are your bets here? Do you think we can get it going? I think it's 50-50. 50-50? Let's see, let's see what happens. If not, there. we'll just light it on fire and roll it down the hill. <laughs> All right, let's head over. Okay, so you plug this thing in, Mark. Yeah, fits. So that's yeah. Uh, that's good. It's universal. I've never used one. Um, I guess you're gonna learn how to use it right yeah. in this moment. Waiting for a vehicle to respond. Let's see what it says. Apparently, you can delete codes on it too. So, does it have to be uh, the car on or anything like that? Uh, I don't think so. Well, that was yeah. more noise yeah, than I know, last I know. Time. I was looking hopeful or something. Uh, hopeful. All right, we'll update you here in a few minutes once this thing's done. Okay, okay. so we heard some clicking, so we're actually going to jump it? Yeah, we're going to try and jump it. it uh, so it kind of clicked the day I picked it up, and then we kind of just gave up. We are running low on time. And then uh, the day you were here, it didn't do anything. So let's see if this does anything. Well, you're getting some sparks there. That's what we like. That's a good thing. You're going to give her a shot? I'll give her a roll. What do we got? What do we got? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think this thing needs a new muffler. Yeah. Sounds like you cut it off. Yeah, there's no muffler on it, so. Oh well, it started. Let's see, uh, I guess we take it for a rip around the bar now? Okay. Perfect, let's do it. Sounds like a monster truck. Uh-oh. Hope it doesn't die. appears to drive in reverse. I don't know what's happening here. It's going to have to go around the farm in reverse, I guess.
So does that mean the transmission's fried on this thing? Looks like it. <laughs> but it wouldn't even go in reverse before, Mark. Yeah, I don't know. Now, we'll try it one more time and drive and see. Well, that's as high as it revs, too. So I mean, that's no that, good. That was to the floor. So, But yeah, before it wouldn't even go in reverse. Or like it said it was, but it wouldn't go anywhere. Okay. And then, uh, Let's see what happens right now. She's loud, though. Somebody will buy it. Oh yeah, I didn't pay very much for it, but uh, I was hoping we could at least get a few laps around the barn or something with it, but. There's no power. You can't yeah. even go over a ramp, nothing. I can't even go five miles an hour. Like that was top speed to the wood, but I'm glad it goes forward and reverse. You know, maybe a mechanic can pick it up and he can figure it out, but I just destroy these things, guys. I don't fix them. So, but the code reader did help. I reset all the codes. I don't know if that helped, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I guess maybe let's go down the track and uh, finish this video off with a Dodge or something. If anyone wants to buy this for sale, come get it. <laughs> that is a loud bird up there. Making lots of noise. I don't think that's the eagle though. I think it's like a hawk or something. Looks like. Yeah. We do have a few bald eagles down here that pop in once in a while. Anyways, the uh, BMW is a bit of a disappointment, but you know, that's what... Uh, that's what you get sometimes. They're, they're not all winners that you buy off the internet from some sketchy dude. So, anyways, I'll probably just sell it and find, find something else. But we still have these two Dodges. So, I'm going to light one up right now. Maybe uh, rip her around and uh, do a quick little burnout. And I think uh, later this week we're going to try and do a tug of war with them. So, I'm going to go with the silver bullet today. See how she does. Oh, the old sweaty bullet. <laughs> so you start these dodges up and warm them up. They like like it right to the wood. Come on! Oh, I had it neutral. R for race, boys. R for race. Let's get her out of the weeds here. Oh, there goes the no coat. Ugh. Bring her over here. See which way the wind's going. See if we can dust the old truck out. Okay, Mark, light her up. Thinking maybe possibly getting that little jump there. This one right here? Not that one. The one Over here? No. Okay. Yeah. You want me to head down there? Yeah. Let's go have a look at it. Okay. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna give her a whirl. I was just gonna do a burnout, but I know you guys like to see when I catch a bit of air. So we have this small jump here that was just recently redone. It's not that wide, so hopefully I don't go off the side. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can catch a bit of air. You gonna do it backwards? You gonna do it backwards. I'm a big backwards guy. And why do you do it backwards? Because when you come in for the landing, all your weight goes into the seat rather than the steering wheel. 
So. All right, you've done this before. Oh yeah, plenty of times. And then when we're finally ready to actually jump the truck, then I send it forwards off that big jump. But not today. Just a small backwards one. All right, do it. That was just to warm it up a bit? Yeah. What's going on up there? Uh, that... Something's on fire at the house. I don't know, it kind of looks like it's coming from the neighbor's house. Uh, might have to go over and check it out, Mark. Oh, you know what? That's a tractor. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's not the house on fire. No. Okay. Let's keep going. Alright. That was just a little test and I'm going to hit it a little harder here. As you can see, it's starting to rain, so... I just wanted to do my first little test to see how it went first. Do it! How did that feel, Mark? Uh, it wasn't bad. A bit of dust. Not too bad. I think we lost a piece of steel off the back. I see something sitting there. How'd it look? That looked good. Am I catching a bit of air? You're catching some air. Feels like the back's catching, but the front's not. Well, maybe you better do it one more time. Let me check the game tape here, and then I'll, I'll review how heavy my foot's going to get on the next one. Looks like something went flying out of there a little bit. Woo! All right, so that's a wrap. We lost the tire. <laughs> oh, the tire's sitting in the back. I knew something went flying. Good thing it was just a spare tire. Oh, yeah, there it is. We right don't there. have to worry about that. Chunk of steel here. Oh, just some tin and a piece of wood. Okay. We're all good. I probably should have cleaned the back out first. Ah. Well, sorry guys, we uh, we couldn't impress you with the BMW. Bit of a letdown for me too, because it was it was over an hour drive to uh, go get it. But uh, whatever, it happens. Wouldn't be the first time it's happened for me when I'm buying these junk cars. So, but we will sell it and we'll get something. Hopefully, we can sell it and get two cars for the price of that one. So. Uh, thank you guys again as, as always make sure you check out the links below pick up some merch check out the sponsors There's lots of discount codes and uh, Yeah, hopefully next time we see you we'll have a few fresh vehicles for us to uh, play around with and jump later